Oh, look at that. All Pokemon up to level 30 will obey, but we already have a Pokemon that's, like, almost God. at level 30. <laughs> yeah, and again, that's uh, just... Just <laughs> trades? Fight. Yeah, that's only traded Pokemon. Okay. If you train it, it will always listen to you. Gotcha. So um, you catch it. So, Gilberto says, uh, I just hope that they don't continue with the Agents of Mayhem timeline. That's right, I forgot that that's a thing. Is that, that's, like, in the yeah. Centro universe? That yeah. was uh, a bit of a flop. Yeah, because it was completely different, though, right? Well, not completely. I think so. Maybe the, the gameplay. The developer is it Deep Deep Silver? Is the developer? Yeah. I think. And they they put the game out, and I remember seeing trailers for it, and I was like, oh, this looks like it could be fun. But I never got around to playing it, but it was one of those games that came out. I completely forgot about it, and then I went, oh, whatever happened with that? And I looked at it, and reviews were reviews were not good. Nah. Yeah, and the gameplay did not look like a good time. It just it bombed. Didn't the studio get shut down and or bought out? Isn't that the whole thing? That's, that's why it's a reboot. Yeah, I think they got bought out by somebody. Yeah, that's why they're like they now that we have the two K maybe. Hmm. I thought two K went under. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know game companies yeah, existed. Two... Who am I thinking of that uh, owns Rockstar? Is that take uh, take two? I think it's take two. Yep. I think it's take two. And that's, I'm, I'm confused. Yeah. Because yeah, who did Bioshock Infinite? Um, 2K. Okay. Right? I just, I don't uh, know. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I can look it up. Sure, why not? I'll be the guy in the chair. I'll look it up. Uh, I understood <laughs> that reference. Ah. Yeah. THQ, that's right. Thank you, Shibby. Yeah, they definitely went out of business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bioshock was uh, 2K. But gotcha. yeah, THQ, oh boy, yeah. <laughs> R.I.P., man. Definitely a mixed bag every time. You didn't mm -hmm. know what the fuck you were getting from that. <laughs> yeah, man. They made what I like to call the Fast and the Furious of video games. Oh. Oh, you dare. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that Let's insults more. <laughs> I've been getting the itch recently, man. I've been getting the itch to go back and watch those movies. Again? You've been getting that itch to uh, spend <laughs> some time with family? Fourth time, I think. They're Listen, back most of them are THQ. pretty good. Mm -hmm. Most of THQ games? No, no the Fast and Furious movies. <laughs> oh, well, you said mostly good, so that's what I thought. No, we were he said about. he said most of them are good. You, yeah. He was so you're on THQ Nordic now. Uh, Castle's still on <laughs> Fast and Furious, and I'm just sitting here playing Pokemon. You can't mention it and just you know not expect me to talk about it, okay? But what, I am. What did that man give me? Damn! <laughs> Damn. I heard, uh... <laughs> Dig. Aquaman's gonna be the villain? And then the... He, uh, the he's gonna join the family in the Fast and Fur Furious 11, right? Yeah. Isn't that the pattern? So first off, it's not gonna be Fast and Furious 11. It's Fast and Furious 10 that's being split into two parts, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't that make the one that falls well, yes. 10 11? Jason... No. It's a 10 part 2. It's a different thing. Fantasy. <laughs> I'm gonna switch over because we're about to get another encounter. I'm sorry. That was so really stupid. You. What I'm sorry. happens if we come across an Abra? Oh, shut the fuck up. Dude's oh, claws. Okay. It's an Oddish. Alright, we're getting an Oddish. Well, you gotta catch it first, right? I know, I gotta catch it first, and like, it's an Oddish, so it could hurt me. They're making Shrek 5 the video game? What the Excuse fuck? Ah, <laughs> oh, you poison me, you bitch. Uh, Shibi says they should have stopped when Paul Walker passed away. I will agree. Fast and Furious 7 was a great movie. All right, and that was the one that Paul Walker passed away uh, and it came out. But Fate of the Furious was pretty damn good. It was a fun movie. Fast and Furious 9 or F9, the Fast Saga, not so much. Kind of fell off a little bit. They tried to bring Han back. They didn't explain it so well. It wasn't that great. But Statham is now part of the family, and I think that puts it in a good place. If you guys want to talk about Fast and, and Furious, Castle's all for that it. Is where I leave this. That is where I will leave it, all right? All right, I gotta start weakening that this thing. You put that in a very good. elegant way. I'm not gonna lie. They went to space. <laughs> they literally went to space. Yeah, but it was like a, like a, it's like Bezo saying he's an astronaut. No, they went to space. Yeah, but we want they like were... space races <laughs> in space. Space station. Oh, I would love that. That's what we want. When I'm we say we want fucking the uh, 
the rumor that came out a couple years ago that said that the next movie, uh, which I think is the only chance that they have, or the only next step that they can have that's going to elevate it, is legitimately time travel. And if they use it and go back too far, and they're in the fucking dinosaurs, you know, like back in the fucking <laughs> Jurassic era. If Vin Diesel is going to drift a T-Rex around, I'm all in it, man. <laughs> At this point, I'm all in. And then he gets there, and who does he run into? Fred Flintstone. Yeah, but yeah, but have a do bitch God or something i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh i'm the, having a I'll say, i think they are gonna go and do time travel and you, i think ah, with all of the uh I, because where the fuck else are you gonna go when you've gone to space okay <laughs> time travel alternate dimension either way i think they're gonna try and do i mean all of the fucking um I guess like the the deep fake shit for lack of a better term that they've been doing with like the Mandalorian with Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker it looks pretty fucking good I think they're going to try and get Paul Walker back. Oh my god. It's going to be very I think, I honestly think that's where they're going to go because the movies have not been doing well since uh he passed away as far as like like money in the box office and the rock has said specifically he's not coming back so that's like a big drop off of revenue that they're gonna have i think they're gonna try and get paul walker back even if it's only for one or two scenes it's gonna be really really weird oh my god i got real scared for a second i'm sorry <laughs> no yeah no i was having a really stressful i had to like make the decision to keep oh, going and it. and make sure to like you know keep Totodile alive but alive just enough to keep oddish in the yellow and we did it so we, we have an oddish remind me i need to heal Totodile. <laughs> Before we keep going. He'll turn the dial. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, fuck, I didn't think of a name. Um, hold on. <laughs> yeah. do, I, do I got something here? Um. No, Helix Fossil was for the Dome Fossil, if we get that <laughs> Um. He's scouring. He's got paper <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I think I forgot about Roger. <laughs> Uh, another one, rest in peace. He picks up a picture, it's a heart around Roger. <laughs> Sad music starts playing. Um, so I think this will this will work because Otis should have like a uh, like absorb, right? Or yeah, like leech seer or some sort of move. Yeah. Yeah. So I think if we go with Otis being bottom feeder, I think that'll work. I think Did that's they, a pretty good right. one. It's okay. gonna be like sucking the life out of other Pokemon. Yeah, if uh, anything. F E E D A by the way. F E E D A. Okay. If anything, yeah, uh, fe wait, that's not gonna fit. Um, I here, I'll do this. I'll do, uh, I'll okay, do bottom. I'll do bottom. That works too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> name Oddish Stevo says Shivy. <laughs> yeah, he. Wait, I. Why did I do an S? Uh, he also said, and I quote, um, "Have you guys seen the Jackass Forever movie? Uh, not yet. Yes, I have." And man, what a movie was it. <laughs> yeah, would you recommend? Uh, yeah, I... Yeah, I would recommend. <laughs> it's it's a fun time. I will also say, um, a few months ago, back in December, I also saw Steve-O do a live show, and that was an experience. Really? Oh, yeah? What was that? Yeah, what was that yeah. like? Uh, heal to the... Oh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna circle back and go to the Pokemon Center. Because <laughs> I so also gotta Steve heal. So, Steve-O doing a live show. Yes, that is a very important thing. I de definitely heal the two of them before we get into any situation. Like, yeah. one wrong move could be the end of everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so Steve-O live was pretty interesting. Um, he was pretty much, like, doing a little bit of stand-up and then would, like tell the story about a certain bit that he did that like people like that either didn't make it into the movie or people were like it's like we can't show this in theaters it's like way too much and then he would show the the bit and okay. it was it was ridiculous i there were some parts that i was laughing super hard at there were some parts that i was almost like gagging at um before the show started uh one of the people that he works with who also um he does a, a podcast as well and it's uh this guy's also on his podcast it's like his kind of like his his manager in, of, of sorts he came out and he was like just so everybody knows i know there's a lot of people who are like sitting down right now and there's a lot of people who are standing i just want everyone to know like 
every show we have done on this tour so far for the last few months, at least one person has passed out. Just from, like, the shit that we're going to show you, some oh, people man. are very squeamish about it. So. Yeah, I would never be able to handle that shit kind of yeah. show. There, he was like, everybody just be careful. You know, if you see anybody kind of feeling woozy, just make sure that they take it easy. And everybody have a good night. And yeah, it was ridiculous, man. Um, a couple of things that he showed that weren't super bad, but that were like really just ridiculous. Um, he did a literal shit hits the fan reference where he <laughs> put the fan on the ground and faced it up and pooped into it. No! Um, <laughs> He uh, <laughs> he had a really funny idea about how he would see women um, who would like paint on bikini tops, and he would say, "I want to do that," uh, but instead of like painting on a bikini top and just having my exposed chest under it, he wanted to kind of be like a cyclist, but paint on uh, shorts and be completely naked underneath it, and then like fall off a bike in front of someone and try and get someone's help, and then they would realize that like his dick is out and it's just painted. <laughs> Wow. Um, oh. <laughs> that was a really funny bit and there was also another bit uh, that was kind of the finale of the whole thing that said uh, he wanted to uh, the bit was called skyjacking and he wanted to jerk off to completion while skydiving and they showed the whole thing and it was it was ridiculous man there was Did a whole story make it? that was very funny oh yeah Holy shit, <laughs> oh. it was one of those where, I mean he kind of he, he cheated the system a bit in the sense of he pretty much got right to the point of finishing and then they jumped out the plane as he finished, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you kind of have to. Oh, uh, <laughs> it could have been a meow. Like, he, was, he came in about fucking, you know, 20,000 feet or some <laughs> shit. It was ridiculous, man. 20,000 foot club. Right there was, here. uh, yeah. <laughs> there was yeah. also some, another bit that he did where he got, um, they injected him with a bunch of, um, like, sedative that wasn't, like, an addictive thing. Like, um, it was, like, kind of like a tranquilizer, but not, like, a ketamine sort of thing that didn't have, like, an addictive substance to it. Um, and they injected him with a bunch of it, and then they tried to get him to do a bunch of, like, uh activities and stunts like riding a bike and whatnot to see like how far he could ride a bike before his legs just gave out on him and he passed out in the middle of it it was wild <laughs> oh man i would highly encourage if you ever get the chance to see steve-o do a live show to to go watch it Damn, it was man. a good time yeah um let's see uh shibby is saying that it was the steve-o's bucket list tour so i believe it was the steve-o's bucket yeah. list tour yes and he's also saying and, that steve-o uh, is on youtube i did not know that yeah he, he tells a lot of his life stories on youtube oh, it's yeah. pretty in inspirational yeah yeah he yeah, does yeah steve-o had one hell of a life and he you know good for him he's definitely come far uh yeah uh yeah. Shibby, do you um do you watch like Stevo's like it's, YouTube channel? Like, do you know about some of the stuff going on with Stevo and like Stevo's dog? What? Oh, by the way, we're about to catch another Pokemon. Ooh! 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 Oh boy, what do no. we got? What do we got? Dude, oh, okay. It's not another oddish. <laughs> Hold your breath. I did not mean to do water gun, but I don't know, maybe it'll kill it. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, he's so he does right. do he's some a, tattoos, yeah. Yeah, tattoo artist now. Yeah, dude. I I used <laughs> yeah, to love dude specifically, yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> um I used to love watching Jackass. I like I grew up watching Jackass all the fucking time and um I even used to watch like uh what was oh, okay, it's a meowth by the way. Um Woo! what was Ooh, the uh sweet. Wild Boys. It was Good Wild boys. boys and I would also watch a lot of Viva La Bam. And I used to love Viva La Bam, and Bam Margera is, like, not the same guy anymore. <laughs> He's, uh... No, he, oh, uh, he is in a, a tough spot yeah. uh, right now with yeah. a lot of, uh, depression, sort of, like, suicidal thoughts and shit, and, um... Uh, a lot of like alcohol and like drug abuse. Um, yeah, it's really unfortunate. A lot of which stemming from past problems, but also with everything with uh, that happened with Ryan Dunn back in the day. Yeah, that yeah. really messed up. Very unfortunate. Yeah. There's yeah. a very very small bit. He was supposed to be in the movie, 
uh, but they told him like you got to stay sober for the movie otherwise you know you're not going to be in it so he, he mm -hmm. signed a contract for it but like he ended up breaking it a couple days in um, and they, they kicked him off the set of the movie and told him he couldn't be in it but there is a very small bit that they use from what he did film where he's in the movie it's one of those things where like yeah. if, if you missed it you know he you wouldn't even be able to tell um yeah he oh, tested really? positive for adderall i think oh and, and right because they was, were trying to keep him off the drugs yeah yeah and i think he was trying to sue them or something yeah. like that. uh crazy. castle what do you want to name yeah. our it's a whole thing all right let me consult the old list over here <laughs> um i was gonna say like just name it after your big fucking cat <laughs> I was I was gonna, but um. But there's funny. I don't think out it there. would all fit. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. If anybody doesn't know, um, can I say it? Can I say your cat's name? Oh, go for it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Castle has a big, large cat named Samuel L. Katzen. <laughs> it's fucking great. great. Name. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, what do you got for us? Anything? All right, so on this list, I do have a, a thing that just says band names, and I have another section of, of a list that's just a bunch of different band names that I've thought of. And that's where Death Boner came from at one point. <laughs> right, so yeah. I think we're going to go back there this time. And I, th <laughs> I think we are going to go with P-O-P-E uh, -P Scum. S-C-U-M. Pope, Pope Scum. Pope Scum? God. <laughs> For a fucking yeah. meow? It's just... <laughs> It just yeah, you know what else are you gonna use it for? <laughs> He's going through a phase. Like, I don't you know. Space. You, you like, like you better put a space in between because it it looks it looks a little <laughs> differently when there's no space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. My mistake. Um, alternatively, <laughs> Shibby said, "Name it D's nuts in your meow," and I I think that's great, but it would not have fit. Oh. Oh man, if, if only it would fit. <laughs> Pokes. Shibi, what about the next uh, Pokemon we get is? You, you can go ahead and name it, because I saw you, you said something else before with, um, with the, the Oddish, I think. Yeah. Uh, you, you had a name for it, yeah. So whatever the next one we get is, you can go right ahead and you can name it. Dude, we have a fucking, we have a team right now. We're, we're regaining our team. We lost it about all. It. You're right. Don't talk about it. <laughs> we, we, um... It's all diversified, too, man. That was one of the issues we had, is with so many of the same type before. Yeah, we're climbing back up. The only thing is, I really gotta uh, train the shit out of these Pokemon, because that was our biggest problem before. Pope Scum. <laughs> God. <laughs> why, why are they all girls? We have a, we're rocking an all-girl team right now. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're like Charlie's Angels, but not the remake, the the old one. Yeah. But not the old one, like the middle <laughs> one. The medium one? I gotcha. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Lucy Liu, Drew Barrymore, um, Cameron Diaz one. Thank you. You realize I couldn't remember a single name from that movie <laughs> for some reason, and you saved me. I appreciate that. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. And Bill, Bill Murray. He's <laughs> Bosley. <laughs> My God! All Wait, right. was he Bosley? Bosley? Was it Bernie Mac or was it, it was uh, Mac. Bill Murray as Bosley? Bosley. No, Bernie Mac was in it, but who was he Bosley in that? I thought he was. When you said Bill Murray, I was like, oh, you know what? It, Bill Murray might have been Bosley. But you know, I think it was Bernie Mac. I could be wrong. You no, know, because oh. Bosley is the dude who's always on the radio that they never see, right? No, that's Charlie. Of Charlie's oh, that would make Angels? sense given Charlie's yeah, Angels. Yeah, like <laughs> Charlie. Charlie. Yes. What a movie, dude. <laughs> it's the that one or or the remake. Yeah, that oh god, fuck the remake. Yeah, yeah, no. You mean that, the one that failed because of men or whatever? Yeah. Whatever the fuck. What's her face said? Elizabeth Banks. Yeah, she made some. Yeah, Elizabeth Banks. Poor choice of. Oh words. yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe just you know nobody wanted to see it. Is yeah, that that's what I'm talking about because <laughs> it's uh, cancel culture. The yeah, podcast. There we finally yeah, got around we to. We finally it. got around oh, to it. it. Maybe. Uh, Shibby says Bill Murray was in the first one. The second one was Bernie. That okay? See, there it is. Thank you. Okay. All right, that makes sense. See, this is why we need viewers in chat. We appreciate you. <laughs> yes. 
Um, to correct all of our mistakes. Yeah, to, to be the people in the in the chair. When we talk about mid-tier 2000 movies. <laughs>